Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be reviewing the LotMax Shark V3 FDM printer. It is dual color, meaning it has two extruders and a single hot end, it's otherwise known as a two in one out. It has a G sensor for auto leveling, which is interesting. And the printer itself is actually pretty quiet. Its build volume is 235 by 235 by 256, and it comes with a standard 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So it's a little on the larger side, but about normal. It's a Bowden style printer, so there's no direct drive with a max temperature of 260 C and a max bed of 110 C. Lotmax recently released profiles for the V3 for Cura 5.2 as well. So let's get on with the prints. So one of the selling points for the V3 is that it's a dual extruder. There's one, there's the other. You can see it, it's a Bowden setup. The V2 had metal dual geared, really beefy extruders. They were replaced with these plastic ones, single gear. There's a run out sensor as well. There's your other run out sensor and your plastic extruder. Here's the big change, the S light. I really don't know why they did this, but it's an interesting feature. I guess you want a nice looking printer. It, it does that. The control box is pretty much the same as the V2. It's just a different theme. It's all black now. It's nice. The touch screen isn't quite as good as the one on the V2. Way better than the one on the 2.1, but not quite as good as the one on the V2. It's still nice though. It's removable. It has a very long cord. Here's the board for the V3. It's a standard STM32F407, but it is a proprietary design. It has TMC2208 drivers on it. One of the bad things about it being proprietary is it's all closed. They won't share their pinouts. They won't tell you anything about the board. I mean, you can see what it is based off of the chip, but you can't get Marlin compiled for it. You can't get Clipper compiled for it. I'm not sure why companies still do this proprietary stuff in the printer space. They'd be better off to open it up and let the user community design updates for their firmware. For the V3, they also changed the end stop for the Y axis. If you see the hole that's below it, for previous versions, it was stationary and you couldn't move it. So this is a nice update. One of the things I think lets down the V3 is this glass bed. It's just a glass bed. There's no coating on it or anything like you get with Creality or other vendors. It would have been nice if they would have added a PEI magnetic removable sheet or something like that, or even the BuildTech like sheet they had on the V2. Another good change with the V3 is this breakout board. It really helps with cable management. It also makes the gantry completely removable without wires. They added some covers to the V-slot wheels. They don't really do anything. They're just aesthetic. But what about that S-Lite? Who doesn't like that? So the V3 has ABL, but it still has a Z end stop. I'm not sure why that is, but they still use it. So don't try and remove it. This is a dual color print. It's the dragon that's on the SD card. It's pretty sliced. Let's see how it turns out. You can see that there's some bleed over. This is using the stock filament. It's what came with the printer. But you can see green in the orange. There's orange in the green. It just didn't purge enough. 
all in all though, it's not a bad print. Looks pretty good. Not a whole lot of stringing or anything. This is the pre-sliced crocodile that's on the SD card. Let's see how it turns out. Not a bad print. Doesn't really showcase a lot. I'm not sure why they did their skirts this way, but it's still not a bad print. And we're gonna slice this Benchy up to print. Lotmax does include a Cura 5.2 profile for the V3. It's just a little program you can run that'll import this in. I haven't changed anything in here other than the temperature. I set that to 200, it was 215. And the temperature of the bed was set to 60, I set it to 50. Everything else is as they have it, so let's slice it. Let's save the file. Now let's preview. Um, I guess we have supports turned on. Let's go back and turn that off. Not sure why they have supports on by default. Okay, now let's re-slice. Let's save that file. It looks much better. All right, let's print out a pinchy. So the Benchy turned out pretty good. You can see the whole line, which is kind of you get from a lot of things. Probably do with some tuning. Like I said, I use the stock profile other than the temperature and the um, bed temperature. This is Ender Gray PLA. Bed adhesion, as you can see, is really good. All in all, I'd say it worked out. There's that whole line. There's a little bit of a bad fan in the front. It looks like lost a little bit of adhesion in the back corner. Yeah, you can see it right there, but you can read the 3D Benchy very well. All in all, I would say it's a pretty good print, but yeah, they lost some adhesion there in the corner. Drop my Z offset down a little bit. Pretty good print though, all in all. Finally, I wanted to print something that was really small, and I really like these K2 filament clips, these little triangles with three slits in them. I tried printing these several times, and it just would not stick to this bed, so I ended up having to put a brim around them, which it seems to have worked out okay. So let's see how these look. Printing small things is a good test, so I wanted to put it through this. Had to use a brim, but it did work. Look great. Final thoughts on the V3. I like it. It has good print quality right out of the box. You can see that in the Benchy. Only changes I made were the temperature. It's relatively quiet as far as 3D printers go, and it can print in two colors. The big downfall I see is the glass bed. I really wish they would have included a PEI magnetic removable sheet. 
those new to the hobby will have issues with this glass bed. Because like I said, there's no adhesion promotion to it at all. It's just plain glass. I guess while I'm at it, the other issue is that it's proprietary software. The fact that you can't run Clipper or Marlin on this is really off-putting. Well, that's my review. Let me know what you think of the V3 in the comments. And like always, happy printing.